Southerton Man is probably uh, Australia's most enduring mystery. Uh, back in 1948, December, a well-dressed man, a uh, very athletic man, handsome man, was found leaning against a seawall at Adelaide's Summerton Beach. Now, he, he was there for a couple of days before a couple of jockeys who were out riding uh, uh, their horses went to uh, inspect the body and discovered he was deceased. He was taken to uh, the morgue and when police searched through his uh, clothing, they found that all the labels had been removed. Now, there was no identification whatsoever. But in a fob pocket of his trousers was a small piece of paper, printed paper, that appeared to have been torn out of a, a book. Uh, it said the words Tam and Shud, which was Persian, and the police tracked down that it was from a Persian poetry book, and the words meant the end, the finish. Anyway, uh, for years and years, no one, and still to this day, no one knows who he is, but in about 2007, a uh, professor from Adelaide University, mechanical engineering professor, Derek Abbott, read the story and became quite enamoured with it. And he's done a lot of research and he's discovered that uh, there was a woman called Jo Thompson who was uh, single and um, had a child, which was probably a big no-no back in those days. And uh, she knew, or he believed she knew the uh, Summerton man, but uh, also when uh, they found her phone number when they were doing the initial investigation. But when she went to view a, a death mask of the body, she became quite distressed and almost fainted, but then told police she had no idea who the Summerton man was. But Derek Abbott has done a lot of research, and through the research he's met his wife, a lady called Rachel, and they're married and they have three children. And the irony of all this is that Derek believes that his wife Rachel is the Summerton man's granddaughter.